So um, I just want to explain uh, long power and short power in the context of how you could win against someone who's cheating and push hands. Okay. So the first thing to realize is that if, if I'm playing push hands with someone and they push down, uh, if I follow him down, I'm force against force. That means I've taken a pathway through my body and to the ground and that's force against force. It's very simple. So he pushes down and I, I, have, to, I have to go up. Okay, that's what I have to do. So if I go up here, well, that gives him this shot. That's not good. If I go up here, this it opens him up. Maybe, maybe doesn't matter. But still, it's, it makes much more sense for me to attack the center. If I go up, that means I'm on his neck. Okay, and this is why in the Shanghai school, this ends the game. We just start over, right? Because that he's like a fish. I can just toss him out that way. Right. If you get someone's neck, you can, you, you can do pretty much whatever you want. It's just that you've escalated the fight, so that's where it, where it ends. And that's because he pushed down on me. If he pushes down, I go to his neck. I don't really have a choice. Right? If he pushes down, I'm not going to go this way. Right? So he's got, now he's got all that. That's crazy. And I'm not going to go this way. That's way worse for me. So I have to, go, I have to control the center. All right. so, and so, but what most people do... If I push down, he, he does counterbalance on the king's full pass. I push down and he, he counterbalances. All right, not, not very clean, but let's say he's got a better counterbalance. Let's say he moves in toward my throat like I did. Most people do this. See, I'm losing my structure. Now I've gotten out of the way, but that's forcing him to do split or elbow or get me in the nuts would be really great if we were fighting. This is why this is the stupidest thing. Don't do this. Don't train this way. But a lot of people do. So how do you win in this thing? Okay. So you can use short power or long power. So let's explain long power first. Long power, and this, by the way, if you've seen, um, there's a book called How to How to um, How to Fight Like a Physicist, which is a great concept, but really um, uh, the premium mediocre in terms of the book because he didn't explain long power and short power. So, <laughs> which are really the two most important. So long power here, if I try to move him, it won't work. Okay, this is long power. It won't work because I don't have 45 degree angle. I'm greater than a 45 degree angle here. Okay, it won't work because he can just put me back on my center, right? But if I have the 45 degree angle, there's nothing he can do. He can move me aside, but even that, it's like not gonna work. Right, if I have that and he doesn't, I'm gonna get it every time. That's called long power. Okay, go ahead, you do it. There's nothing I can do, right? Even if I, I can try to go side, he's still going to get me, okay? This plays out in push hands, plays out in wrestling. If someone's doing push hands here, <laughs> now, you can counter by doing the same thing, right? But then that really is wrestling. Okay, so, I think we lost that. So let's just make sure that's clear. It's, so long power, this doesn't work, right? Because you can put me back in my center with, it's, there's no power there. You only get power because it's falling power. The potential energy of a stuck point stuck in the ground is like a, a, something falling like that. So that's called long power. Short power is the drop step. Right? So if he's staying up, I give him down by picking up my foot. Right? And it goes down, but you can also use it in any direction because it's the potential energy of a wave. Right? It's just like a wave. My body's made of of rocks or bones and water. So the, the potential energy of the wave is, is this, this motion coming in, which is completely predictable, right? That's the wave coming toward the shore. But the energy of the wave going up, right, is potential energy. When the wave crashes, it hits, right? That's all that's happening, is the, the up-down potential energy is being transferred forward by picking up my foot, right? It's called a drop step made famous by uh, Dempsey in boxing. The same idea, exact same idea. The potential energy of your body as fluid drops. And it, it allows you to project forward. You want to do it? Right. Now, if I have a really yieldy arm right here, he has to get to my body to do it. Go ahead. If I'm really yieldy, it won't work. So he has to get to my body, and then it works. All right. So, so that that's that's it. Now. Of course, what you do in push hands, not allowed to move your foot, right? 
So we're doing push hands, and he he does. I go for the throw, and he goes here. I I hide it, right? I'm picking my foot up, but you can't see it because it stays on the ground. But it's still picking it up. The same potential energy is transferred, right? So I go, and I get him that way. But it's it's also sometimes called fudging, but that's just confusing nonsense. Don't don't think about it that way. Um, because here and here's the colossal error most people make. Go ahead, you you do it to me a little bit. He from my and I yield right now. He now he can do his technique right first. You know, and see if you can get it fast. Yeah. Try not to push at all. Still a little bit. He's he's using um, the the knee line. So he's using a little bit of long power, which is totally ineffectual waste. You have just, just down, just down, right, just down. When I touch him, it's just the down that causes the effect. I do have to be leaning, by the way, for this to work. I'm not leaning at all. I push myself off. When I fly change, I push myself off. But technically, I'm leaning to make that work. All right, that's that. That's all of those pieces. Um, lodging, uh, let's see, what am I missing? You were saying the ineffectual, or like the, the main mistake people make. Oh, the huge mistake people make is they use something called shunfa. That's a misunderstanding of the word shunfa. Um, you can, of course, use shunfa to, to move your body around, but you don't store energy in your body as muscle bones and tendons. Not a good idea. Um, because, okay, the potential energy of a wave, we just got the potential energy of a bow, right? Potential energy, if I'm pulling a bow, potential energy is all in the curve of the bow, which is going to snap up and down, technically. It's snapping up and down, right? There's no potential energy in my body when I pull a bow, and there's no potential energy in the arrow or the string. It's all in the bow. Okay, so people make the mistake of doing something like this. They're like, Play fudging, you push on me, and I, they think they're storing energy and then releasing it. That's an illusion. It's a mistake in your own brain. If you think there, there's any way that you can store energy, say in your quad or in your back here. I, you see people do this, push, like, I'm storing energy in my quad to get you. No. What happened is you move your foot, even though you may have hidden it from yourself. What happens is you move your foot. That's nothing, absolutely nothing to do with stored energy in the body. Um, and th this creates colossal problems where people get collapsed back because they think they're storing energy, when in fact there's nothing. The, the potential energy is all from the foot. Okay, so a long and short power. Long power is from this, this tipping. I'm right on the edge of where I can get it. If I do it here, it won't work. Because he can pull me back up. Here, it will. It's a simple fact that my weight is now more, greater coming on him than he can lift, right? The, the, the drop step effect works here because my potential energy is, is, is down and can be transferred. Okay, right? Yeah. Now stop me from getting that. Okay, how did he do it? He met me with the drop step. Excellent. So I use drop step. He gets it at the same time, it will work. So then that's just a timing thing. My drop step's just a little fast. And that's a dumb game, don't play it. Um, <laughs> enjoy. Hey everybody, if you like this uh, video, uh, you can join me over on Patreon. Uh, there's more stuff there. And also check out my books on Amazon.com. And don't forget to subscribe.